Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us here today for our live deliverance uh, webinar where we're going to be casting out demons in Jesus' name. As well, so I can ask everyone here if you could please just mute yourself until we call upon you at this time. Uh, we will continue uh, to uh, walk people through the process uh, for inner healing and deliverance. You can keep your cameras on if you'd like to. Uh, and I'm going to ask that when uh, we do call upon you for deliverance and inner healing, if you could please keep your cameras on as part of this. I want to be able to look at you guys, be able to see you, look in your eyes as well, and uh, bring up these issues before the Lord. Before we get started, we got about maybe uh, 60, 70 people that are be showing up. We only have a couple right now. They're all coming in slowly as usual. Uh, but that's all right, though. The Lord wants to do a major work here and set people free. Number one, what I'm going to want you to do is get yourself prepared here. Uh, you're going to bring before uh, when we uh, talk here in just a minute, you're going to be picking one or two major uh, demonic oppressive things that are happening in your life, as well as maybe one or two traumatic moments you think Jesus needs to heal. The reason why we're bringing these up as well is because uh, Jesus needs to heal brokenhearted issues before we deal with any demonic oppression. And the same tools that we use for healing these brokenhearted areas in our life, it will also work for other things such as demonic oppression, seeing, hearing, feeling the enemy, sickness or pain, you'll bring everything before Jesus Christ. Trust in him alone and he will heal and restore you and set you free. We're also going to provide you with some free training here. I'm going to give you two links here. One of them is going to be uh, some spiritual warfare training. This is provided directly on our website. We offer this for free for the body of Christ so that you can get freedom, help, and hope. And this will help you in major areas uh, because it's not just a one-time thing when Jesus heals and restores us. It's just not once that we need deliverance. It's just not once that we need inner healing. We need it consistently. So this will help us, uh, well, to be doers and bring up the issues when Jesus well, brings it to our attention so we can get restoration. Uh, the second thing is a worksheet that I have here for you. This is a simple worksheet. Uh, there's five easy steps. There's more than five here, but the core five are there. And you'll do those five steps whenever the enemy comes against you. And you'll do it over and over again to get your victory. You're going to be coming to Jesus as friend, persistent, shameless, day or night. It doesn't matter. You're going to keep on going over and over again. And if you're not persistent, a lot of times we will hit a brick wall because we think, I got, I want my healing now and I want my restoration now. And we see with, the, well, of course, Paul in the Bible, he wanted the thorn out of his flesh immediately and he didn't get his victory right on the spot. It took him some time. And some of these issues, we need to come before the Lord, wait on him. And it's important what we do when we wait. And then we'll bring it up to him again and again. All right. We just hear about two minutes into it. More people will be showing up. I know they always do. And uh, I want to share with you a little bit about inner healing before we get started and why it's needed for the body of Christ. Everyone hears the word deliverance and they're sold on it. Oh, you know, demons being cast out. But the reason why the enemy is here is because of a legal right, an open doorway. And the enemy is very legalistic, which means he doesn't go just because we wish, want, or command him to. He'll only go if healing, restoration, and curses are broken. Unfortunately, no one has really shared this kind of information with us. So we start searching God's word for help and hope. Maybe you found that scripture, submit to God, resist the devil, the enemy will flee. If you've ever tried to submit to God and don't know how to do it, it's difficult. Well, how come I can't get my victory? A lot of people feel confused as well. How come the enemy still tormented me when I've submitted to God? It's simply because of these legal rights. The good part is that Jesus does give us a way out. He tells us in scripture in Luke 4.18 to be doers. He says, preach my gospel. He says as well, heal the brokenhearted then set at liberty those that are oppressed. With this recipe of well, success, Jesus shares, before we deal with this demonic oppression, we must work with brokenhearted issues first. And why? Well, because we've tried to handle and heal everything. Betrayal, abandonment, rejection, heartbreak, even as a kid. We got bullied as a kid, wounded as a kid. And we wonder why we feel the way we feel right now. 
Well, we feel this way because what well, hasn't been healed by the Lord yet. And he will bring these issues up on and off our entire lives so that we can get freedom. There's, when we get that tug on us that where we feel depressed or down or that memory that bothers us, well, then the Holy Spirit's also there. And he's saying, hey, get this healed, get it restored, but we perish for this lack of knowledge, as well as the enemy's tormenting as well. He's coming against us in every way that he can to, well, legally bring torment and pain. And, and then the Holy Spirit's right here to help a lead and guide us so that we can get this freedom. And so that's what he'll do is he'll continue to bring up other issues on and off the rest of our life to get freedom. And once we get through some of these traumatic moments, maybe we get through some demonic oppression, then we'll use those same tools in the future when the Lord wants to refine us and get pride out of our life or jealousy or envy or any other things like refining our finances. Oops, we don't want to talk about that. Well, the, well have, a, have us uh, get our focus def def definitely on the Lord when he has us focus on our finances here because we're like, oh, Lord, help us. But he's here every step of the way to give us freedom to give us hope and so that we can move forward and that template is directly in luke 4 18 and he confirms it in isaiah 61 1 he shares that the spirit of the lord is upon me to preach the good news he goes on to share to heal the brokenhearted and then set at liberty those that are oppressed and this template is the template that we've used for the last 13 years for our deliverance ministry heck even my good friend and mentor of 20 years he uses, well, the same scriptures. And uh, Jesus still works and heals and restores everyone that he uh, reaches out to and ministers to because of the faithfulness of our Heavenly Father to want to release us from this demonic bondage as well as that so we can learn to be able to be victorious in Jesus' name. We're going to be calling on volunteers here and we're going to be bringing up a couple issues before the Lord, spending about 15 minutes with each person that uh, allows us to do this with. And uh, you're here uh, simply because you're looking for some freedom in Jesus' name. I'm going to go ahead and if I don't, if you don't mind, Melissa, could you, do you mind if we call upon you first and we'll bring you the very first one to do deliverance and inner healing? Is that okay with you, Melissa? If not, we can do yes. someone else as well. Perfect. Awesome. I'm glad that you're here. Thank you so much for joining here. I want to take everybody else and then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, stop video with everybody else here. It's just going to be me and you here, Melissa. We'll bring other people on the screen once we're done here. Well, number okay. one, what we're going to do is have Jesus just heal some broken hearted issues, some traumatic moments from your past. The reason, again, why we bring this up first, Melissa, is because uh, this is going to help us to get victory in Jesus' name over the okay. enemy. And uh, as well as he's going to help you in the future to use this to continue that victory process. Melissa, within the last couple of years, or maybe if there's one that Jesus picked out, can you think of a traumatic moment that we can bring before Christ for healing and restoration? Yeah. Um, well, I've, I've had major family abandonment and um, from, from an, a spinal fusion and the husband ran off with somebody and... Oh. They, my health went down. My, my family abandoned me. My father said, said nobody came to visit me in the hospital and I blood clot my lung. I got kicked out with COVID my, when my hair was losing. I, I just oh, there's constant abandonment. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Melissa, let's abandonment those, hurt. Yeah, let's pick one of those times that you got wounded by a friend, a family member within the last couple of years. Can you pick one that is standing out the most here? That you well, the recent one is when i i i left my i i was afraid of even taking communion because somebody said if you had something against her husband which i forgave him last night i was terrified that i would bring terrible things upon myself i don't know why they said that it scared yeah. me well you'd be surprised you know a lot of pastors uh, they think that they're sharing good things you know their heart usually is in the right place but sometimes they make mistakes just like we do uh, I don't and, think that that helped me at all. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of times it doesn't. It just brings some, some self-condemnation. It some brought worry. fear. Yeah, fear. Yeah. Well, well, I was living in fear and my brother, um, well, when I got like just recently, when I when I when I went through my spinal fusion, then my family abandoned. But my brother and sister-in-law, they kicked me out um, and they said to leave when my husband thought by telling him I had COVID and, and um. They told me how to go. So I got frightened. I was upset with my husband because I thought maybe he gave it to me and I was frightened. And I went and ran, had my daughter pick me up, which was the biggest mistake. And I was under 
demonic attack because she sells drugs. Um, they do heroin. Um, and the one does heroin and a lot of all the demonic stuff. I wound up with a ringworm I thought was on me. I was bandaged from head to toe. I wound up with hair loss from COVID. And I had had an auto accident where I had, um, you know, um, lost hair and my face was ripped off. And I went through a lot of years of that. So that brought back a lot of that. Of course. Let's and I, I heal and restore this area that you just shared with me just a moment ago that very broken hearted issue in the very beginning here. Those, those other layers that are here, Melissa, I'll yes. encourage you to bring those up before okay. Jesus Christ through the spiritual warfare training we provide for free. Okay. That's going to help you through inner healing. That's what we're going to do here. When this happened to you um, a, a couple, uh, a little while ago, what's the emotions that Jesus needs to take away from this? Um, I, 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 I can't, I, I, I feel like I have no family. Oh. And I felt uh, I, I didn't want to be around anybody because I, well, I couldn't even color my hair, but I felt like I, 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 I was like a, a burden and I was told that I'm an F up and, you know, and I, yeah. I wasn't, I, I, I've been a teacher and I'm like, I was just, the emotion was helpless, hopeless, um, frightened, um, don't know what I'm going to do with my life, where I'm going, and unloved. Let's bring this before Jesus right now, Melissa. Let's yeah. have him heal and restore this. By the way, when Jesus shows up, he's going to show up in one of three ways for you. You may hear the voice of Jesus, and he'll take away your pain. Two, you may see the Lord in an encounter, and he'll take away the pain. Lastly, you won't see or hear Jesus. He'll just do the work behind the scenes and take away the pain. Let's do this together. Say, Jesus, I call upon your name and authority. Jesus, I call upon your name and your authority. I divide soul and spirit. I divide soul and spirit. Jesus, please heal this part of me. Please, Jesus, please heal this part of me. Can you forgive them for whatever they did here, Melissa? Or do you need help? Yes, before? yes, I, I, I forgive my, my brother my sister-in-law for kicking me out. I do forgive them. I know I live there Amen. and I thank them for what they did do. And I forgive them for all the things they said. I don't believe they know what they were saying. Of course. Last thing say, Jesus, please minister, please speak to me. Jesus, please minister. And um, please speak I, to me. And speak to me, Jesus. Here he comes right now, Melissa. Let me call upon the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for coming and bringing victory to your servant. Father, will you give her an encouraging word to move forward? Let your banner over her be love as well as just give some encouragement as well. Melissa, what's Jesus doing here? Share with me. I felt some peace. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing peace and restoration to your servant. Let's tell the enemy where to go. Say, I command you, demonic spirits. I command you, demonic spirit. Go to the pit in Jesus' name. Go to the pit in Jesus' name. Amen. Melissa, Amen. can we bring up this issue of hopelessness that happened here? Can we bring that before the courts of heaven have Jesus heal and restore? Yes. Would that be okay? Perfect. Yes. We're going, to do self, we're going to be doing deliverance on this here. And after that, we'll do some self-deliverance as well, Melissa. We're just going to do <laughs> hopelessness. And when I do this, I'm going to go ahead and convene the courts of heaven over your life, as well as everyone else here. We're going to have as well, uh, uh, it's going to be convened. And then at the very end, we'll close out the courts over everyone's life as well. If you could, please don't think or pray during this time. We're just going to have Jesus come right now and convene the courts of heaven. Lord Jesus, we call upon your name and authority. We ask that you fill up everyone here from the tips of their toes to the top of their head in your glory. And Father, they will stay in your presence. Father, we also ask, according to Matthew 18, 18, that the first and second demons of highest authority in everyone here to be bound and escorted to the courts of heaven and that the courts be convened. Jesus, I ask that these demons will stay here and give their testimony before you, Heavenly Father, and Jesus Christ, your Son, and the Holy Spirit will lead and guide all of them into truth. Jesus, we ask that you order the following directives of these demons. Number one, that these two would represent all of them, and they will all go to the pit, and they're going to be sent there to the courts of heaven now to give their testimony before the Father and the Son. 
Lord, as well, if this demon decides to go ahead and not uh, tell the truth, Lord, you will execute those judgments, the consumption by fire with the blaze coming forth from your presence. Lord, as well, that today as well, they'll be told that to, uh, as their day of departure. Lastly, Lord, that when these demons are uh, when they leave, all spoils and healings that have been stolen or withheld will be released sevenfold. In Jesus' name, amen. Are you okay with all that, Melissa? Yes. Perfect. We're going to bring up hopelessness here. The Holy Spirit is your guide. No demons are in, are in charge. Jesus will be sharing with the Holy Spirit everything that needs to get healed and restored here. I'll ask him a question. Holy Spirit, the enemy has tormented your servant with an open doorway of hopelessness. How many wounded parts or legal rights are here? A couple, many, a lot, too many to count, an exact number. Melissa, what'd you hear through the Holy Spirit? Fear. Fear. I'll ask as well, Holy Spirit, when was it created? How old was she when fear first settled in? Oh my God, fear settled in with me. Well, I have OCD and, and it fear settled in severely when I had my spinal fusion and the blood clot and, uh, I want, and Jesus healed my uterus, but until then I wanted to kill myself and uh, fear settled in, fear of getting a clot in my lung, fear got really, really bad. Fear originally settled in after rape at knife point, uh, a bad auto accident where I, my face and my, I was scalped and everything in my ear, tear duct and all. And I went through years of, and, and a boyfriend tried to kill me after that. I got panic attacks, OCD. And, uh, and then it got really bad when that 2016 with that spinal fusion. And, um, then fear came upon me when I got a rabies shot and got vertigo from it in and then wound up having, like, I started aging, like 10 years were like in one year. And the, the devil stole that from me, my of youth. Course. And, we're and right then here. we don't want to get uh, too far. And, away. and I want it back. Doing, of course you do, Melissa. The Lord's perfect. He's right here. He brought up to your attention that that fear was there with all of those other negative emotions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. And then fear came about when I thought I had the ringworm. At my daughter's place, I, I was I was getting spots everywhere, spots everywhere. My dog was quarantined. I was quarantined. Thank God it turned out to be um, granuloma annular and it wasn't contagious. But I, I am still like bleaching my hands and frightened. And my husband has, jo you know, jacket. So I'm terrified of like the fear has just continued. Fear oh, is course. a huge yeah. issue. The Lord brought those uh, up so that he can heal and restore. This. The only reason why we ever uh, ask any questions during deliverance is so that Jesus can heal these brokenhearted issues. Yeah. Let's have him do this for you right now. He's going to take you back to when this was created, when that open doorway happened here. If you could close your eyes, all of the brokenhearted ones are here. He's going to heal and restore them just now. If you could say, Jesus, I call upon your name and authority. Jesus, I call upon your name and authority. Please heal all of these brokenhearted ones. Please heal all of these brokenhearted ones. Please, minister, please speak to me about this issue now. Please speak to me and minister to me and speak to me now, Jesus. Here he comes right now, bringing victory over this area. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing additional victory. Heal and restore your servant here. Father, we thank you as well for that encouraging word to move forward. What's the Lord doing here? Share with me. I don't know. It's okay. He'll either show up in one of those three ways. He may give you that encouraging word to let you know that he's healed this and set you free. You may have that encounter with the Lord, or he may just bring you peace in this situation, Melissa. He's right here. I think my dog's bugging me. That's the problem. Oh, of course. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that can get those uh, completely distracted here, Melissa. Yeah, my dog is being a... Let, let me see. Sure, um, let's, let's take a second here. Let me get the enemy me. off of you just a bit further. I take the sword of the spirit. I pierce and cut off the enemy's stronghold over Melissa's spiritual ears. Demons detach. Leave Melissa alone now. Jesus is right here, Melissa, healing this brokenhearted issue. He's going to give you confirmation that he's done the work. Share with me what he's doing.
taking some of the lump out of my throat Amen. and my heart. Thank you, Jesus. You know, a lot of times as well. Calming me. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for doing this, setting her free. When we come before Jesus this way, Melissa, Jesus shares that when we come before Jesus as judge in the courtroom setting, he says to be persistent here as well. So a lot of times when we don't see the victory happen immediately, then we will come back again. Uh, or as well, we may say, Lord, I need a break. And we'll just take our time and we'll yes. wait on the Lord. We'll pray, we'll worship, we'll seek God. We may even take a couple hours. Or yes. Two. We'll come back to it again and keep going because he's told us to be persistent. And a lot, a lot of times this is what he's looking for in us. This persistence. Is Melissa going to be persistent? Today, you were persistent. You were seeking the Lord. And he is a, a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, Melissa. Let's tell the enemy where to go. Say, I command you demonic spirits. I command you demonic spirit. Go to the pit in Jesus name. Go to the pit in Jesus name. Would it be okay if we did a self deliverance here? Is that all right with you? Yes. Perfect. You're going to repeat after me and we're going to do this together. And this is going to be in our additional training that uh, we don't show on our website for free. Melissa, we do charge for the self deliverance. Online. That's okay. That's okay though. I just wanted to share with you that, but we're going to walk through. I will be I willing to do it. Say, uh, say, I search myself by the finger of God. I search myself by the finger of God. From the tips of my toes to the top of my head. From the tips of my toes to the top of my head. I command that. I command that. Whatever is not of God. Whatever is not of God. Come up and state your name. Come up and state your name. The Lord's right here. No vanity. Her charge. Vanity. Heard vanity. Say, Holy Spirit, does vanity have a legal right to be here? No. No. Let's tell vanity where to go. Say, I command you demonic spirit. I de command you demonic spirit. Go to the pit in Jesus' name. Go to the pit in Jesus' name. Let's do one more here, Monica, to make sure that we got them all. Say, I search myself by the finger of God. I search myself by the finger of God. From the tips of my toes to the top of my head. From the tips of my toes to the top of my head. You, from the tips of the, my toes to the top of my head. I command that. I command that well, whatever is not of god come up and state your name whatever that is not of god come up and speak to me listen closely the holy spirit's your guide no demons are in charge share with me if you hear any names i hear fear again all right ask the holy spirit does fear have a legal right to be here does fear have a legal right to be here no all right tell the enemy where to go say go to the pit in jesus name Fear, you must go to the pit in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What a blessing of the yes. Lord here, Melissa. That's the only reason why we'll do deliverance is so that Jesus can heal brokenhearted issues. Melissa, by chance, if you hear yes, as an example, for fear or antichrist or anything that you hear uh, through the Holy Spirit, uh, then you'll ask a couple oh, more yeah. questions. Uh, and it's all in the training. You'll say, well, when was it created? My daughter had the spirit of Antichrist in the house there. Yeah. Very badly. Oh, I'm so sorry. That, he that, was, that was mocking Jesus and they celebrated Christmas without, and I was in torment. And I was like, how can you celebrate Christmas and not believe? Oh, yeah, of course, Melissa. But, you know, we'll, we'll still walk in love with our family, regardless if they want to celebrate Christmas the wrong way or the right way. Yeah. The Lord just still loves us regardless. Don't let that stop uh, you from hanging out with your family just because they don't believe everything that we do. Uh, no, and, no. Yeah. No, so I, I love her. She's mad. I just was frightened when that guy said that if you had any oughts, don't take the the. I was always taking communion and then I finally took it today because I, I made repentance to my husband and to, to Father God. And I thought they said, or or you're reaping. I mean, it's really creepy. And then they also said something about like fear, you know, like in faith. But honestly, I believe fear, you know, perfect love casts out fear. So faith works with love. 
No, oh, amen, amen. Well, there is something that is there, Melissa, in regards to when we decide to take communion. We got to make sure we got the right heart, of course. You know, we want to spend, make sure that I hope I did the right thing. Yeah, you know, and even if we do make a mistake here, we have a loving father, Melissa, who forgives us of all of our sins, and he's faithful and just to do that. And uh, if we ask for forgiveness, we should have no self-condemnation. If self-condemnation comes up, it's a lie of the enemy. He loves to counterfeit the Holy Spirit. Oh, I have a lot of that self-condemnation. Yeah. That's another That's another issue another that you can bring before guy. the Lord as well uh, during that time. You can bring up all of these issues if you, as you trust in Christ alone to do the work. The thing here, Melissa, is doing the work, bringing the issues up before Jesus Christ, and uh, uh, making sure that your heart and mind are steadfast on them. And we will miss it, Melissa, if we're not paying attention and we need to stew and stay in this stuff thinking it's normal or it's just part of life. It's not. Jesus gave us hope. He gave us a way out. Melissa, thank you so much for volunteering here. Hey, could we call upon you again if we need to call on you? Yes, absolutely. So much. Hey, by the way, as I walked you through this, was it really weird? Did you feel really scared? Was it hard to do? What we no, not, Amen. no, I just hope I remember everything. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of work. There's a lot here. So don't worry about the online training. It gives you the worksheet for the self inner healing. This will help you to continue to get victory. If you have nightmares, if you feel but down, I, any bad memories, you'll bring everything before Jesus. Trust in him. Yeah, and OCD before. is another horror that's been living in me. Yeah, you'll bring that up before him as well. I love to share with everyone, tattle tell to Jesus Christ what the enemy is doing against you. And sometimes he may tell you to do inner healing. Other times he may say, hey, what does my word say about you? Or about, uh, as well as maybe read my word, get encouraged and you get some encouragement and you can move forward. The Lord will give us many different ways. Deliverance and inner healing isn't everything. I believe it or not, we get to, this is just part of it all as it mixed together through God's yeah, I had a lot of PTSD, a lot of PTSD. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry, Melissa. I'll encourage you, please reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to uh, chat with you, do a consultation. Pastor Sarah, she also does just inner healing and pastoral counseling and works with women who have been traumatized through PTSD or, or anything else. Uh, she's just really focused on doing that. You can always chat with her and send, send her a message, okay? Perfect. Okay. Melissa, we'll call on you if we need you again. Is that all right? Okay. All Thank right. You. No problem. I'll, I'll, I'll mute myself and unvideo it. Thank you so much, Melissa. Thanks for again for joining. Thank you so much. Thank you, Timothy. Oh, Thank you're so you. Welcome. What a blessing of the Lord to heal and restore this brokenhearted one and set her free. Uh, the thing is, is that we need to be willing. We need to have our heart and mind steadfast on Christ. Um, and uh, we have to believe that Jesus will do this. If we don't believe that Christ will heal and restore us, he won't. Um, he says, according to your faith, what pleases God? Faith. And, 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 and so what, what, what it's, and faith is more than just saying, I believe. It's action behind it is what uh, the Lord's looking for. Um, and so that's what, where the woman with the issue of blood came in. She, her action was pushing through the, through the crowd. Her action was making her way through and touching him, even though uh, uh, she wasn't supposed to be, you know, getting anywhere close to, you know, a Pharisee or, you know, a, a teacher or a rabbi of that nature. So uh, it, it was, it was because of her faith. And that's what Jesus shared with her. Hey, it's your faith that healed and restored you and set you free. All right, we're going to look for anyone else here. Um, uh, I believe that we have Mark here. I know that you're getting ready uh, to close out your night, Mark, and go to bed soon. Mark, if you like, you can join in and volunteer. I'll be more than happy to walk you through inner healing and deliverance. Mark, would you like to go ahead and unmute yourself and, uh, and then as well um, uh, go through this as well? Oh, I can't get my video back on that's okay mark that's all right share with me what's going on why do you think you oh, need there we go. Or deliverance there you are mark share with me what's going go. on and um, i think i just had like a lot of fears because i've had like mental health issues in the past and people keep using this stigma against me especially like in church and it's the abuse has been quite substantial and i'm just seeking deliverance over it. 
Amen. Well, praise the Lord. This is the Holy Spirit, by the way, Mark. He's the one that leads and guides us in the truth. He's the one that shares with us that something isn't right, that we need help. We need hope and to search out godly counsel for restoration. Uh, so let's bring this one of these issues before the Lord. Now, uh, can we bring up a traumatic moment that you are sharing here that, you know, uh, that a lot of the friends, the church as well, and some of your family members uh, may feel differently about oh, what you're going through? Uh, can we bring up a traumatic moment for the Lord to heal and restore and then bring up that issue before the courts of heaven and deliverance? I've had people this will not speak to me, but want to speak to my friends, family, um, doctors, attend doctor's appointments to try and like figure me out. And like I'm just now becoming like invisible that they want to I have to almost like have to speak through an interpreter to get them to actually listen to me. Oh, how does that make you feel, Mark, when this happened to you? Uh, like I have no voice, but God values you as a person. It's just a shame these like criminals don't right. feel the same. Of course. Did that make you feel, you know, a little bit frustrated, a little bit aggravated that they did this to you? Yeah, because they just don't like value it. They don't like look at your abilities. They just look at your disabilities. Yeah, right. God. Let's have the Lord take away. They the try to use now. shame and guilt, and condemnation, and that's. Oh, so sorry, Mark. Can we have Jesus heal and restore that? Would that be yeah. okay? All right, repeat after me. We'll do it together. Say, Jesus, I call upon your I name need... and authority. Yeah, Jesus, I call upon your name and your authority. I divide soul and spirit. I divide soul and spirit. Jesus, please heal this part of me. Jesus, heal this part of me. Can you forgive those people for what they did here, Mark? Or do you need help from the Lord to forgive them? I, I do, and then I don't. All right, so Jesus, I need your help. It, it's, Jesus, I just need your help. Oh. Please work on my heart. Please work on my heart. I'm forgiving everyone by faith today. I'm forgiving everyone by faith today. Please, minister, please speak to me, Jesus. Please, minister, please speak to me, Jesus. Here he comes right now, Mark. Put your trust in Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for healing this brokenhearted one. Thank you, Father, for showing love and encouragement. Give him the confirmation he needs to move forward. Mark, what's Jesus doing here? Share with me. Oh, I just felt God then as you prayed. Right. Sometimes I didn't like it. I feel the Holy Spirit strongly. That's okay. I just did then. Yeah. He, praise the Lord. Awesome. Let's tell the enemy where to go. Say, I command you, demonic spirits. Yeah, I pray, pray the demonic spirit goes. Go to the pit in Jesus' name. Yeah, go to the pit in Jesus' name. Mark, what are some really negative emotions that you've been feeling the most lately? Uh, fear. We're going to bring Quite this up before suicidal. the court. And suicidal. Okay, well, how about hopelessness? We'll bring this one up before the courts of heaven. Is that okay? Yeah. Perfect. All right, the courts have already been convened, Mark. We're just going to bring the Holy Spirit to the situation now. and He's going to minister and speak to you. Holy Spirit, there's been this open doorway where the enemies come against and accuse them of having hopelessness, as well as he's had some suicidal thoughts. How many wounded parts are legal rights are here? A couple, many, a lot, too many to count, an exact number. What'd you hear, Mark? Um, say that again. Sure. Say that again. Holy Spirit, how many wounded parts are here? Many, a couple, a few, an exact number. What'd you hear, Mark? Quite a few. A ton. Quite a few. Holy Spirit, when was it created? The first time that Mark felt this torment come against his life? How old was he? Uh, probably my teens, probably. Your teens. Holy Spirit, what does Jesus need to heal to break off hopelessness? 
just mental illness mental illness holy spirit is there any other negative emotions jesus needs to heal or is that it Same. holy spirit when jesus is done healing restoring this broken-hearted one will hopelessness end as well as suicidal thoughts yes or no would you hear mark yeah thank yeah. you holy spirit for yeah. bringing revelation knowledge to your servant to set him free in the name of Jesus Christ, who came in the flesh, we command every single demon to depart and go to the pit without ripping and tearing in Jesus' name. Mark, we're going to do this together. Say, I search myself by the finger of God. Can yeah, you say that with me, Mark? Say, by by the finger of God. From the tips of my toes to the top of my head. From the tips of my toes to the top of my head. I command that. I command that. Whatever is not of God. Whatever is not of God. Come up and state your name. Come up and state your name. Listen closely. What you hear? You hear a name, function, or anything, Mark? No, I can't hear. You didn't hear anything. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, Mark. Sometimes we'll hear something. Sometimes we won't. It's a good thing if we don't hear it. Let's have Jesus heal this brokenhearted issue of hopelessness that happened during deliverance here. He's going to go ahead and, and uh, minister to that brokenhearted one when you shared it happened in your teens here. If you could, Mark, just close your eyes. Jesus is coming now. He's going to he heal that broken heart. If you could out loud just say, Jesus, please heal all these brokenhearted ones. Yeah, Jesus, just heal everything. I call upon your name and authority. I call upon your name and your authority. I divide soul and spirit. I divide soul and spirit. Please minister. Please speak to me, Jesus. Please minister. Please speak to Jesus. Jesus is right here doing the work, Mark. Share with me what the Father is doing to set you free. I think he's just wanting to bring peace in the storm. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing victory to Mark and setting him free. Let's tell the enemy where to go. Let's say, I command you demonic spirits. I command you demonic spirit. Go to the pit in Jesus' name. Yeah, go to the bed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mark, as I walked you through this, was this really hard to do? No, Amen. not quite. It was, no, it's no. not supposed to be hard, Mark, so that we can get our own victory. Mm -hmm. I'll encourage you, please, do that free training. Uh, we do have additional training there. We have our self-deliverance training on our website. You can check that out as well. We do charge for that particular area of training. Um, uh, however, uh, you'll get some victory and you'll bring these issues before the Lord in Jesus' name. What a blessing, Mark, for the Lord to do that work. Please do the free training ASAP and uh, start uh, getting continued victory as you trust in Christ, okay? Mark, I'll encourage you as well. If you feel led by the Lord, please reach out to us for a consultation um, as well. I'll we'll be more than happy to chat with you, walk you through the process, and we're, we're very transparent on our website. All of our pricing is across the board, so uh, no miscommunications when you call and say, hey, what's the price for this? It's all right there, and you can book everything all by yourself as well. Mark, well, I'll call upon you again if we need some more people. Is that okay? Okay, all right. Thank you so much, okay. Mark. What a blessing. We had Mark come through, uh, walked him through the process of deliverance and inner healing, some self-deliverance as well, Holy Spirit-led. Uh, the same thing um, with uh, Melissa as well. The Lord healed and restored some issues over her life, set her free. And both of them said it wasn't hard to do. So that means that it shouldn't be too hard to do, that these two people can say that they can uh, get their victory as they trust in Christ. You too as well. Uh, hey, uh, Christine, would you like to volunteer? I can walk you through the process of deliverance and inner healing. We'll bring up one traumatic moment from your past, one demonic oppressive issue as well. And then I'll walk you through the deliverance process of self-deliverance. Is that okay with you, Christine? Sure, but my video is disabled. 
that's okay, Christine. That's all right. I'm just happy that you're here and that we can walk you through this. Is that all right? Uh, yes. Amen. Christine, can you think of a traumatic moment from your past that we can bring before Jesus for him to heal and restore? The, the message that I'm getting is you cannot start your video because the host has disabled it. So it's not on my end. It was working earlier. There you go, Christine. Okay, there we start. go. Perfect. I'm glad I can see you. Wonderful. I'm glad that it's working now. Sorry, sorry I just... I just got out of the shower, so that's okay. apologize for the towel. That's all right. Don't, don't worry about it. Christine, can you think of a traumatic moment from your past that you want Jesus to heal and restore? Um, yes. Uh, it, uh, this is kind of an ongoing situation um, that I think I have identified it as an orphan spirit um, because I didn't... Um, the trauma and the anxiety started in the 90s and uh, I found myself extremely alone and battling a lot of uh, because when I got saved uh, I had a lot of spiritual warfare a lot of attacks and a lot of uh, deception around me through people and it kind of made me feel like I was in a nightmare um, I backslid for quite some time came back to the Lord um, after having an experience of um, a physical experience that happened to me a, a few years back uh, that I'm, I'm going through deliverance for, but I noticed that it's deeply rooted in the orphan spirit because this fear and trauma has a lot to do with uh, my relationship with God the Father. And when I read scripture, it's like I don't feel like I could actually receive that truth so earlier i was reading psalm 46 and it didn't feel like i can receive those words for myself oh. like god is for me god's gonna see me through i there's like a fear of worry and anxiety that um does take a physical toll like it's really hard for me to sleep at night um but um but that would be i think it's shock and trauma still because that orphan spirit deeply rooted from the womb yeah and i'm 51 years old so i didn't realize that most of the and the more study i've been doing on the orphan spirit that the orphan spirit could actually attract more warfare more attacks and actually the orphan spirit is uh when you try to go out like even in church you're not connecting with people that are really spiritually healthy whole or they have wrong motives and it opens you up to more wounds so a lot of that has happened to me where a lot of soul wounds through wrong connections i'm just going to plug in my uh tablet here sure. and so i guess the orphan spirit is still what i would say is battling and the fear and the anxiety and the anger connected to that because i can't I can't receive God the Father as my Father, and that uh, every deliverance is different and every way is different, even though That's, the formula would be the same. But do you know what I mean? If we brought that orphan spirit before the courts of heaven during deliverance and during inner healing, yes. could we bring up one of those times where you felt orphaned by a friend or family member or abandoned? Uh, and then we'll have Jesus heal that, and then we'll bring the orphan spirit up during deliverance. Is that okay? Okay. Perfect. Can you think of a family or friend that, that maybe fit, made you feel like that orphan? Uh, my father, my mother, my sister. Can we pick one of those that you think is just the worst? My sister. Your sister. All right, let's have Jesus go. He brought the memory up so he can heal and restore you, Christine. And we don't have to do much more. Mm -hmm. Repeat after me. Say, Jesus, I call upon your name and authority. Jesus, I call upon your name and authority. I divide soul and spirit. I divide soul and spirit. Please heal this part of me. Please heal this part of me. Christine, can you forgive your sister for what she did? I'm trying. I'm working on it. There's a lot of rage. That's okay. Say, Jesus, I need your help. Jesus, I need your help. Please work on my heart. Sorry? 
Please work on my heart. What can you say? Please work on my heart. It's only you that can do this, Jesus. It's only, please, Jesus, work on my heart. It's only you that can do this, Jesus. I'm forgiving her by faith today. Sorry, I can't hear you. That's okay. I'm forgiving her by faith today. I'm forgiving her by faith today. Jesus, please minister. Please speak to me. Jesus, please minister and please speak to me. Here he comes right now, Christine. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing victory to Christine. Thank you for healing her and setting her free. Father, again, thank you for bringing love to Christine. Give her an encouraging word to move forward. What's he doing here, Christine? Share with me. Uh, I feel like a nice wave, like a just like a. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Did Jesus bring peace as well, Christine, during this time? Um, well, I wasn't feeling anything negative to begin with. Um, then if you don't hear, you felt the, this, this that, wave come through, go back to the memory to see if Jesus took away the pain from you and your sister. Uh, well, I can't really say that the pain was very strong and present at that time. Well, the best way for like, us to always find out. I know I have rage towards her. Yeah, of course. This is all we do is we just gauge it. We'll go back. We'll see if Jesus did the work. We don't hear his voice. We can always search ourselves and just go, Jesus, did this get healed? And he'll give you that confirmation in your heart, Christine. Usually when he brings the encounter or you feel his presence, he has already done the work. A lot of times, Christine, I don't even hear his voice during this time. He just said, Tim, I want you to trust in me like the centurion man. My word's already been sent. Can you trust me this way, Tim? And I said, I sure can. And so I usually bring things before the Lord. I ask him to heal and restore it. I just move on. I do another thing in my day. Well, all right, got to do some extra work, another consultation. The Lord will do the same thing for you as well, Christine. Uh, but he can show up in other ways as well. So we'll always pay attention and uh, see that well, whatever he wants to share with us. Let's tell the enemy where to go. Say, I command you, demonic spirits. I command you, demonic spirits. Go to the pit in Jesus' name. Go to the pit in Jesus' name. Amen. Christine, we're going to go ahead and do deliverance here. I already convened the courts of heaven earlier here. I'm just going to go ahead and start speaking to the Holy Spirit. He is your guide. No demons are in charge here. And he's going to bring this to your, to your attention now. Holy Spirit, the enemy has tormented your servant, Christine, with an open doorway. She's feeling like she has his orphan spirit, feeling abandoned and wounded in her past. How many wounded parts or legal rights are here? Many, a couple, a few, an exact number. What would you hear, Christine? I can't be, I'm not sure. All right, give me a second here. Lord Jesus, execute judgment on these demons. Consumption by fire with the blaze coming forth from your presence to burn these demons up. Bring up a second demon as well with the same instructions and directives from you. Let this demon stay in the courts of heaven, the one that was consumed by fire as a testimony for all other demons. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing victory to Christine, setting her free. Holy Spirit, this open doorway is here. When was it created the first time she felt this orphan spirit? How old was she? Did you hear an age, Christine? Well, no, but uh, what's coming to my mind is like um, memories. That's okay. The Holy so Spirit used more in like, different ways. Go ahead. Yeah. So more teenage, like I have impressions. So it would be like a, a memory. So more like in the teenage years, in just teenage around years. after the age of 15, that it started to feel like I didn't feel connected. Aww. I didn't feel a sense of family. I didn't feel a sense of community. That's the Holy Spirit was, bringing uh, this to your attention so that he can heal and restore yeah. it. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing yeah. this to your attention. Holy Spirit, what does Jesus need to heal to set her free from this open doorway? You might hear some negative emotions pop up here, Christine. Share with me what you hear. Isolation. Isolation. 
isolation. Is there more Holy Spirit or is that it? Anger. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Frustration. Holy Spirit frustration. Holy Spirit, when Jesus frustration. is done healing this brokenhearted, when will this end for Christine? This over in spirit, yes or no? Well, I just feel like it's a lot more of a process. Involved. A lot of it is a process here, Christine. Sometimes we'll get confirmations from the Lord. That one right there might be his confirmation through the Holy Spirit. A lot of times when we uh, ask these questions, Christine, there's more work to be done. <clears throat> Jesus will heal and restore that issue, but he'll bring up other issues that are similar that he needs to heal and restore. A lot of people say, oh, no, I feel like I'm still tormented. And I'll go, hey, uh, so is it another memory? Yeah, it's not the same one. That's just another demon. It's just another wounded part that Jesus needs to take care of. So it's just more issues that he wants to do. So let's, uh, uh, we got the confirmations from the Lord. Let's go and have the Lord heal and restore this. Give me one minute. Lord Jesus, we ask that you bring judgment on these demons now. Consumption by fire with the blaze coming forth from your presence to burn these demons up and send them to the pit as well. And let's have Jesus heal and restore this now. Say, Jesus, I call upon your name and authority. Jesus, I call upon your name with authority. Please heal all of these brokenhearted ones. Please heal all of these brokenhearted wounds. Please, minister. Please speak to me, Jesus. Please minister and please speak to me, Jesus. Here he comes again, Christine. Here comes the Lord. I did Fix. get something. Amen. Sure. I did what? get something. Ment what you... Mental, mental torment. Mental torment. He's bringing some confirmation. Mental now. torment, like yeah. That he's healing, restoring this brokenhearted issue and setting you free. He'll bring you some additional confirmations as well here. Thank you, Jesus, for giving her the additional victory of this open doorway of this mental torment. Did he bring some encouragement to you, Christine? I feel like the rest of this issue with the physical issue uh, is going to be greater healing um, that's going to come as the soul wounds get healed. Amen. Praise um, God. Yes. Um, and that... Uh, I'm sensing like a like a open pathway ahead uh, that uh, these soul wounds, when they're fully healed, um, the um, like these these spirits like isn't mental torment legion? Isn't like when well, I study the word? Sure, isn't well, there's, there's a legion lot of, things of here. like mental torment like, enraged? Yeah, I, I, rather you, than like you feel like enraged, you're going to lose your mind. You're... Yeah, well, when these things get popped up as well, Christine will always bring them before Jesus Christ. Before, you know, we would just study God's word and just try to get, oh, well, what does this really mean? Rather than always trying to figure out exactly what everything means and why the processes happen, just bring it before Jesus Christ for the healing and restoration. I had one client okay. that reached out to me uh, years ago and she was being tormented and the enemy's touching her inappropriately. And she was a friend, a family friend. And I, uh, I shared with her, I said, hey, are you doing the work? Yeah, and we gave you the, the tools. No, I want to find out the reason why. Three months later, she calls me back. I still don't know why. And I go, are you still being tormented by the enemy? Yeah, he's still touching me. And I go, do you want to get it healed? Or do you want to stay in it and try to figure out why? Well, I want to figure out why. And I go, okay. All right. Well, hey, you got the tools. Reach out to me whenever you're ready. But uh, she just wanted to figure out the reason why, uh, Christine. I don't know why she felt that was more important than Jesus healing it. I always ask Jesus, uh, if I don't understand things as well, please tell me whenever you're ready to share with me. Because sometimes we're not ready for it yet, Christine, as well. So uh, as well, just go ahead okay. and turn your trust to the Lord. When these things pop up and you feel these things, you'll just do the work. You'll bring the issues up. Was it hard to do, Christine? Okay walking you through self-deliverance and inner healing was that hard no it's not hard but amen 
It's just a matter of doing. That's the big thing, Christine, is bringing up the issues of doing the work. That's the biggest thing. Well, I wish it was that simple for everything. <laughs> yeah, I, me too as well. That would be a great overhaul life. A life was so simple and easy. Deliverance and inner healing is pretty easy to do, Christine. It's just a matter of us uh, paying attention and, and having a heart's mind steadfast on Christ. Of course, there's more than what I'm sharing here. It's also studying God's word and getting it down and having our mind renewed as well. Uh, I'll encourage you, uh, if you feel led by the Lord, you can always reach out to us to do a, a consultation. All of our services are here, as I was sharing with Melissa earlier. If you feel led by the Lord, Christine, Pastor Sarah is available uh, for working with women exclusively, and she'll be more than happy to work with you. Um, um, that's uh, her whole thing, just yeah. dealing with these battered women, poor yeah. things. Should we cast out the mental torment? Um, well, is that a spirit? There's probably some uh, additional spirits that are here, uh, Christine. Un unfortunately, we're not going to get them all here uh, because there's so many that we would have to do. And we're just doing this live deliverance here. We're able to get that one issue up and heal and restore. We also did another issue uh, for inner healing as well. Praise God. I'll encourage you, if you feel like there's more that you'd like to do, that you can always just set up a consult and do that session with us in the future as well. It will be ongoing. Okay. I will share with you and everyone here that uh, if you feel like you need more or we're here for you as well we also do a returning clients as a discount fee which is fifty dollars off of our normal fees here uh for that as well from the uh from the hour one there so i'll encourage you christine just reach okay. out to us to do that if you feel led by the lord uh, as well okay okay thanks so much christine that was a blessing thank speaking you. with you thanks for volunteering your time today i appreciate it thank you Thank you. Have a blessed day. Get Is that it? Uh, that's it for this one right here. Is that yeah. It? That's it. We spent about 15 minutes with you, Christine. We just go one through another to walk them through this process. That's pretty much it for now. Uh, and the session is quite different. All it is is one, two hours, just well, actually 90 minutes, bringing up all of these issues. The first 40, 45 minutes dealing with inner healing, breaking off curses. The second portion, just doing deliverance and bringing up these okay, issues. Okay, because I missed the first half hour. I so, missed the first half hour. Were you doing a teaching? I was teaching about inner healing in the very beginning. Yes, Christine. I'll be sharing more about Okay, that because I going. just got. Okay, so can I stay on? Oh, yeah, you're not, you don't have to get off of the line here. You'll just stay on the line the entire time if you want to. I didn't mean for anyone to get out of here. Oh, so okay, we're done okay. doing it. Yeah, you can stay aboard. You bet. We're going to be sh uh, sharing some know. more about what the Lord's oh. doing. Yeah, you bet. We're just not doing any more deliverance or any. any no, I had an issue getting the Zoom link. I, I was trying to log in and I, for like half an hour, I couldn't get on. And finally, I got the right Zoom link. So. I didn't catch everything you said at the beginning, so I thought that was it. I have to leave. Okay. Oh, no, not at all. No. And then this, well, there's going to be a replay of this. It'll probably be next week, about Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever my staff uh, gets ready to push that out. You'll get an email blast about that okay. link as well. It'll be on our website, probably okay. the social networks as well. Okay. Okay. Thanks, all right. Christine. Thank you. I'll you stay on. Get thank a, you. Yeah, you don't have to get off the line yeah. here. You can stay aboard. You betcha. Thanks again, okay. Christine. Great. Thank you. Thank you. What a blessing for the Lord to heal and restore another brokenhearted one and set them free. This is his whole purpose, to set us free, to give us freedom so that we can move forward and all gain victory in Jesus' name. I want to go over inner healing a little bit more here and why it's needed and uh, why it's the cat's meow. I was chatting with my uh, deliverance friend, Dr. Scott Victim, and uh, we were talking about deliverance, inner healing, curse breaking. And I was sharing with them, I said, the deliverance, I consider deliverance to be the icing on the cake. Uh, and uh, curse breaking to be the sprinkles and inner healing is the cake. It is the guts of it all. And the reason why is because, again, since the enemy is so legalistic, he doesn't go until healing and restoration and curses are broken. So that's why inner healing is the, well, the cat's meow is because uh, if you're seeing the enemy, hearing the enemy, feeling the enemy, if you feel depression, any negative emotions, uh, any strongholds at all, sickness or pain, uh, you'll pay attention to these things and your heart might 
mind will be steadfast on Christ, number one, to pay attention to it. Two, that uh, when it does happen, um, if you happen to be at the right place and, you're, and there's no one around, you can get it healed, restored in under a minute. Um, uh, get yourself away from somebody and uh, you'll save five easy steps, which are in the training. Of course, there's more than five steps that are there, but the core of five steps is what gives us the victory. And all we're doing here is some simple things. We are knocking. We are seeking, we are asking, and we are believing that Jesus will do this and set us free. Uh, so uh, th that's what the Lord will do as we trust in him uh, to release this over our lives. And it will be, again, faith in action, meaning that when it happens, you're going to believe that Jesus is going to do this and then you're going to do it. <laughs> That's where the action comes in. Uh, you'll exercise your faith by uh, immediately starting that process. I'm going to go over those five steps with you so that you can get some freedom here, even though it's all in the training. Number one, you're going to go ahead and get the enemy off of you by dividing soul and spirit according to Hebrews 4.12. It shares the word of God is alive and active. It's sharper than any double-edged sword. It pierces to divide soul and spirit, joins a marrow and a discerner and a judge of the heart. So what's being divided here? Our soul from a demonic spirit. What's dividing it? God's word. He comes in and severs this tie between us and the enemy, giving us victory over the enemy. What does that mean again? Well, let's go ahead and use another analogy. I'm going to go ahead and make my fist. We're going to do rock, paper, scissors. If this right here is to represent fear, then here comes the enemy. He's the paper. He's on top. He's not possessing us. He's oppressing this issue and tormenting us. And when we say I divide soul and spirit, God's word separates this tie between us and the enemy, commanding him to get off of us. Now, he can come back again if we don't bring Jesus to heal and restore this brokenhearted issue. So that's why we'll ask Jesus, please come heal me. We walk through those five easy steps. I divide soul and spirit, get that demon off of us. Jesus, please come heal this part of me. And then as well, um, if forgiveness is needed, then you'll say uh, that you forgive those people. You'd be surprised how many times this will stop people from moving forward from their healing and their victory. And so if you have a hard time say, my Lord, please Work on my heart. I need your help here. Please help me so I can move forward. And he will start softening through the Holy Spirit and getting you prepared for the next step of forgiveness. Lastly, you're going to ask Jesus, please minister, speak to me. You're going to wait on the Lord. He'll show up in one of three ways. One, you will hear the voice of Jesus Christ. His sheep know his voice and he'll take away the pain. Two, You'll see Jesus doing whatever he wants. Maybe he's hugging some little girl or a little boy, and, and he'll do whatever he wants to do to show you and bring freedom and uh, break off that stronghold and that negative emotion. Three, you may not see or hear Jesus. He'll just do the work behind the scene, release us from this demonic bondage, and we have to pay attention here. Did this get healed? Yes or no? Search yourself. Yes, it got healed. Thank you, Jesus. And if you don't feel that it got healed, then you'll be patient and say, all right, Lord, I'm going to come to you as Jesus as friend. I'm going to be persistent. I am going to come shamelessly day and night, and I'm going to be persistent in my prayer request to bring this before him. Um, and then as well, if you need uh, time, uh, wait on the Lord and he will renew your strength. Wait on him in, in sleeping, wait on him in reading your Bible, wait on him in worship, wait on him in many different ways, but wait and then watch the Lord do something miraculous when you go back and do this again. When you're done doing self inner healing and you got your freedom, if you feel led by the Lord, you can do self-deliverance, which I watched uh, Melissa and Christine and other people through as well. So you'll do that as well. If you have the time, you'll search yourself by the finger of God. You'll see if there's anything here. If there is, the purpose of it is for healing and restoration. And uh, you'll ask the Holy Spirit some simple questions. He'll share with you when it was created, the emotions he needs to heal. And, and then you'll stop. You'll bring it right over to inner healing and you'll do it all over again. Jesus, please heal all of these brokenhearted issues and set me free. You'll wait on the Lord and he'll give you that confirmation. You'll do the same five easy steps again to get that victory over and over and over again. And being a doer will be important. Repetition 
is important. Um, uh, making sure that you read your Bible is important. Uh, making sure that your heart, mind, or steadfast on Christ, Christ will be in, important as well. All right, we're going to bring up another person for healing and restoration. Walk them through deliverance and inner healing and self-deliverance. Um, uh, we have another person that's here. Her name is Nicole. Nicole, would you like to have me walk you through deliverance and inner healing? We'll bring up one traumatic area from your past for Jesus to heal and restore, as well as one demonic issue that you you think is well uh, supernatural by nature lastly we'll walk you through self-deliverance and we'll search you by the finger of god would that be okay with you nicole if we walked you through that is that okay and if you don't want to volunteer that's okay as well nicole and if not then we'll keep on talking about deliverance and inner healing here wait for one more moment Okay, we'll keep on moving on. Nicole, if you change your mind, please let us know. I'll walk you through it later. All right. We're going to bring up these issues. Why? Well, because there's an ongoing sanctification process that Jesus is bringing to us. He's going to be tugging on our hearts the rest of our life to get freedom. And those simple tools will work uh, well. And those are healed and restored as well as normal things like the Lord wanting to refine us and take envy and pride and, and jealousy out of our life to work with us in our finances to to restore us in other ways he's going to use the same tools over and over again so that we can get that same victory as we trust in Jesus and he's the one that's going to set us free he's the one that's going to release us from this demonic bondage he's the one that's going to bring the freedom when we trust in him and again, all we're doing is normal things that it shares right in God's word. I'll encourage you as well, uh, when you uh, start seeking the Lord, uh, you need to start as well on a routine. And if you're not in a routine, it's really difficult for us to have our heart and mind steadfast on Christ. So uh, I was trying to figure out, oh, I guess I'll read my Bible once this week. Uh, no, we got to spend time reading his word all the time. And uh, that's the, one of the best ways for the enemy to bring deception. Because we uh, aren't in his, in his word. I uh, was sharing with a, a, uh, an individual that we reached out for deliverance. And, and uh, he opened up some major doorways that were there. And uh, he reached back out to me. Uh, he did some hard drugs, some crack cocaine. Um, and uh, now he can see through the supernatural. He goes into, you know, uh, other realms and paranormal, uh, other areas that he calls dimensions. And uh, he, uh, during this process, he uh, as well got freedom. He's gotten help, but he's not doing the work. And uh, well, I chatted with him most recently. And I said, hey, are you reading your Bible? No. This is two years later. Are, are you going to church? No. Are, 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 you, are, you, are you going to Bible studies? No. Are you doing worship? No. Well, what are you doing? Just living a normal life, but I'm a Christian and I'm tormented by the enemy. And I go, well, that's your problem. Is, is that you're not serious enough to turn your heart and mind towards Christ to continue this walk with him. Um, and, and you want victory and you're tormented so horrifically bad and you're seeing them all the time. I, the, the, it just surprises me how many people will not do this. There's only a small percentage that will. And the ones that do, they hang on to it. They run with it because they know that they can get freedom. Others of, uh, will just get freedom and they're able just to move forward and kind of move on with their life. But the majority of people will have to work at this to bring it before Jesus um, because he wants to do more than just that one thing. He's using this to draw you in to say, hey, it's time to get serious. It's time to have your focus on Jesus. It's time to do the will of God. It's time to start walking out what the Father has asked us to do. We're all ministers of the Lord. We've all been called into the ministry, whether it's me to be a good father, a good son, a good husband, as well as the Lord says, hey, I want you more than just that. I want you to share my love with your friends, your family members, whoever you come across him. And so this is my commission. All right, Lord, this is what you called me into. So what did I do? I went into the ministry. And uh, before that, I was sharing it with friends and families at work and everything else and so the lord's going to start calling you into the ministry and he's refining you here so he can use you even more and what the enemy meant for bad and all the things that you're going through right now it will be a testimony 
of the goodness of God. And you'll be surprised how many people run into you, how many people are wounded and hurt. And you will be the light in the darkness as you share the love of Jesus and your testimony. This is why he's refining you as well so that he can use you and 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 as well so that you can see the goodness of the lord that's right i'm happy that i've gotten to see the goodness of the lord not over my own life i've seen it over other people's life i saw it today where the lord healed restored uh, christine from a broken-hearted issue melissa from a broken-hearted issue um, as well as mark from a broken-hearted issue the goodness of the lord he wants to show more goodness as we turn to him and so that's what I'm going to encourage you to do is to be a doer, read his word, get built up, learn about spiritual warfare, get yourself prepared. And this battle is real. It's real. I am constantly in battle, spiritual warfare consistently over and over and over again because of what I do here. And the enemy doesn't play fair. He's nasty and mean. And he, he's trying all that he can to bring deception, to bring discouragement, and bring me down. And it's only Jesus Christ who I turn to for my help and my restoration and my restorer. And waiting on the Lord is a very important part of this because uh, this is where we get renewed. Today would be considered, uh, well, tomorrow is considered Sabbath. And uh, so uh, uh, during the time of Sabbath, well, that's going to be time for you to rest in the Lord. It's not for him, by the way. It's for us. He told us to rest and relax because he's preparing us for the next week. And uh, so he, he's going to ask you to prepare and spend time with him uh, tomorrow and, and, or, and read his word. And as well, he's going to start bringing up some of these issues and tugging on your heart. And as long as you are a doer, you will see that victory in Jesus' name. Again, uh, I'm going to call on Christine, Melissa, or Nicole, and uh, we'll see if any of you would like to have me walk you through deliverance and inner healing one more time. Um, uh, for Nicole, it would be brand new for you. So if you'd like to, go ahead and raise up your hand. Uh, if you'd like, I'll call on you just next. If not, I'll continue to share with you more about spiritual warfare, deliverance, and inner healing. I'm looking for someone's hand. I'll wait patiently for a moment here. It was nice that Pastor Sarah was able to join aboard for a little bit here. Uh, she had a consult with somebody, um, uh, and so she wasn't able to stay the whole time. Uh, again, Pastor Sarah uh, specializes in uh, dealing with trauma uh, uh, and PTSD, OCD, and she works exclusively with women uh, so that they can get healing and restoration. And uh, Sarah's been doing it now uh, just as long as I have now, a little over 13 years, um, and doing uh, bringing healing and hope uh, to the brokenhearted in Jesus' name. I want to share with you a couple other things uh, um, that's going on at the at this time. Is uh, right now uh, we do have a couple of things that we are uh, brought up forth. Uh, we have our self inner uh, self deliverance training. We offer this um, online uh, as an online training uh, session that we have, not session, but online training. Um, it's about uh, three hours of training, uh, includes uh, self inner healing as well as the self deliverance. Uh, we do offer the self inner healing training for free directly on our website. This additional piece right here is going to help you to get additional victory after inner healing is done. I work with, I share with you uh, about walking you through uh, self-deliverance, Holy Spirit-led. If you can't hear the voice of Jesus Christ uh, clearly, uh, then you can walk through the process um, working with demons. It's still peaceful. It's still calm. The Holy Spirit's still in charge, um, and we'll give you some resources. Uh, and uh, praise the Lord. Uh, this training has helped over 30,000 people to gain freedom from the enemy's stronghold as they are doers and bring up these issues before Jesus Christ. Now, we do also have a new training that we just released yesterday called the Mercy Court. Um, and uh, it's going to be part one in our series of uh, the Courts of Heaven. All year long, we're teaching about this, presenting our cases before the just judge of the universe, as well as uh, accusations that the enemies put against us. And uh, the one that that's here that, uh, that I just released, it's part one. It's an introduction to the courts. I teach you how to get there. 
and all the steps as well as a scriptural support and uh, some worksheets. There's about uh, two hours of training here. It's only $35. And if you missed out on it from last month, you can grab it now. Tomorrow, we're doing part two in this webinar for the courts of heaven. And uh, we're going to be talking about breaking off some strongholds that the enemy has put against us and getting some victory over that. Uh, those strongholds are going to be uh, understanding and breaking off generational bloodline curses, removing demonic legal rights of oppression and principalities tormenting your life. I also walk you through deliverance and uh, not deliverance, but as walk you through uh, the whole process of going before the courts of heaven, a small introduction to it as well. If you feel led by the Lord, he'll tug on your heart, tell you to join a board. It's only $35. Um, and then as well, the next one that we're going to be doing here is going to be next month. And we're going to be doing another, um, uh, it's going to be a little bit different. It shows on the website as being a free webinar for self-deliverance. It's uh, I, I, it's going to be a mixture of self-deliverance and inner healing. That one is coming coming up. And I'm looking here. Uh, do, 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 do. That's going to be March 3rd, which is going to be Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. We keep it open at this time so that we can reach other people um, in uh, all different countries and grab them so that they can get some uh, freedom as well instead of it being at you know, one o'clock in the morning. So uh, we have another one here, Melissa. We're going to go ahead and walk you through some more inner healing here. I'll go ahead and ask you to unmute. And to start your video again, we'll bring up another traumatic area from your past for inner healing as well as self-deliverance. Hey, thanks, Melissa, for being a patient well, and joining a board. Oh, no, thank you. Um, I guess uh, I just wanted to know, I mean, when I felt like when I, after I went to that rabies vaccine, I was left with vertigo, I got healed of Gambre by Jesus and I got healed by my uterus, but I, I wound up doing face exercises because I felt like my face was suddenly sagging and I felt horrible. And then of course, then my, you know, now my hair from the COVID and I didn't know if that was a sin. Is that a bad thing to do or would God consider that bad? Um, no, what, what's the bad thing? Cause you took the, you took a vaccine. Is that it? Melissa, is that what you're upset about? No, 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 no. I, I took a rabies vaccine. I oh, did not get the, the vaccine. Oh, okay. Because... So you took, no, I don't think no. there's anything wrong. Either you took the vaccine, no, rabies no. vaccine or any vaccine. It doesn't matter, Melissa. No, I'm talking about it caused me, it caused me health issues. Okay. So it caused that's you health why issues. I didn't get the COVID vaccine because okay. I was afraid because I got, um, I got healed of Guillain Barre. I know I was feeling it flickering lights. My girlfriend sent the word and, and Jesus healed me. Amen. But I still have vertigo. Okay. And <clears throat> that has never left. It well, we went can that, and came we can back that before and I had the trouble Lord, walking. During the courts of heaven for healing and restoration, if you'd like to do that. And we can do that just next. Is that all right? Sure. All right, let's do it. Let's have Jesus heal and restore this vertigo here. We're going to go ahead and of course have already been convened, Melissa. I'm going to go ahead and ask the Holy Spirit some questions. That's the good part about the Holy Spirit. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. We can start and stop and go right back to it. Holy Spirit, the enemy has tormented your servant, Melissa, with an open doorway of vertigo and infirmity. How many wounded rights or, or legal parts are here? A couple, many a lot, too many to count, an exact number. What did you hear, Melissa? Lack of trust. Lack of trust. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for instruction of where the open doorway is. Holy Spirit, when was it created, this vertigo? Hold bless you. Um, I guess when I felt like I started aging and it, I got affected, like I just everything happens suddenly and i think that god's mad at me for doing facial exercise i think he's angry with me or something and considers that vain and i don't know i just not sure whether to trust because i i feel like i'm doing am i doing something terrible 
the good part here, Melissa, My is sinning. That our Heavenly Father only gives us good gifts. He's not mad at us. He might get disappointed in us, but he's not mad at us. He loves us the most right now. Yesterday, he loved us the most then. Tomorrow, he'll love us the most. He'll always love us the most, exactly the same. So he doesn't day. stop. Doesn't stop. He's I'm not, not giving the legal, no. Because, I mean, yeah. I don't do anything else terrible. That's just the end. He's just bringing I'm... some self-condemnation and, uh, against oh. him. He's really good about this as way. Well. He's a counterfeit. Oh, he has spirit. been utilizing self-condemnation, lying to yeah. me for a long time. Yes, He's my really husband great about said that. Yep, for sure. That's his purpose. Steal, kill, destroy. He wants us to make us think that we're going crazy and insane as well. Yes. But, but we're not. That's what the OCD, the OCD kicked in when I was um, 24. Mm. And the panic and anxiety, all that kicked in then. Well, the Lord wants to heal that as well, Melissa, but he brought this one up so he can heal this one right now. So he's going to take care of this. He well, the vertigo, I, I'm trying to think of what it, it, it was just extreme. I, 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 I had like my fingers were numb. I was just petrified. I was calling on God. I was praying to God in tongues. I was, I was doing everything I could. And, and I just, I started getting healing, but it's, it's stress. It's stress. Yeah. Thank you. At, on Jared. the job, it's stress. Lack, lack of a place to live. Like, you know, fear. All these. It's stress, and 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 it's just. Uh, I, I, I mean, I've always was told that it's a, somebody's doing a spirit of witchcraft that causes it. Although I don't do that, but I mean. <clears throat> and I, I would run from that stuff. I mean, but I, I, you know, I mean, before I was Christian, no, but, you know, I, but, but <clears throat> I don't know what causes the vertigo. It, it's, I, I'm, I, I mean, I don't want to hear anything bad from getting an MRI. I'm concerned about that. Of course. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I for just don't know what it is. Up. The Lord just wants to heal this right now. I don't now, know what it is, Lord. Yeah, that's okay, Melissa. Like, we, don't we, don't, know what it, we don't have to know what it is. He just wants to heal and restore this. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing up all of these negative emotions and things that you need to heal and restore, including confusion. Give me a second here, Melissa. In the name of Jesus Christ, who came in the flesh, we command every single demon to depart and go to the pit without ripping and tearing in Jesus' name. Melissa, let's have Jesus heal and restore this brokenhearted area from your past. Uh, in this open doorway yes. where vertigo came in. Say, Jesus, I call upon your name and authority. Jesus, I call upon your name and authority. Please heal all these brokenhearted ones. Please heal all these brokenhearted ones, Jesus. Please, minister, speak to me, Jesus, now. Please speak to me and minister to me, Jesus, right now. Here he comes right now, uh, Melissa. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing victory to Melissa. Thank you for healing this brokenhearted one and setting her free. Father, thank you again for encouragement about moving forward from this open doorway of vertigo and setting her free from this. Melissa, what's Jesus doing here? Share with me. So I'm trying to see if I see him. I know. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing peace to Melissa now. Thank you again, Father, for letting her know she's loved by you. That banner, that banner of love is over her. Thank you, Jesus, That's... as well. You take that sword of the spirit, pierce and cut off that stronghold over her spiritual ears. Demons, detach. Leave her alone now. What's Jesus doing here, Melissa? I mean, I feel peace. Amen. Thank um, you, Jesus, for bringing peace. I wish I could hear. Sometimes I hear. That's okay. A lot of times uh, we'll waste our time trying to wait and hear from Jesus Christ, Melissa. I'll share with you and everyone else here. A couple of years ago, I was on my knees crying out to the Lord, you know, and I was asking for, you know, uh, to, to hear his voice. 
after about a half hour on the hardwood floor, I get up, I'm rubbing my knees. Jesus, yeah. I can't hear you. What's going on? And he says, I'm not speaking to you, Tim. I go, well, why? Because I already healed you. And I go, you did? Why didn't you tell me? Uh, goes, well, I'm trying to grow you up, Tim. I'm trying to tr have you trust in me. And then he said, can you be like that centurion man, the one that said, just send your word, Jesus? I said, yeah, I can be that way, Lord. And he says, this is where I'm going to minister you the most at, Tim. Just trust in me and move on. Just like when he healed my uterus, I just, Amen. it happened. He so, did. It went down after the surgery. He Amen. just healed it. He saw what, the injustice. What a blessing of the Lord to heal and restore. Oh, pray, I praise, praise him all that. the time for that. Hey, man, what a blessing. Well, that's what he likes to hear as well, Melissa, is when we share how good the Lord is. Um, something about when I listen to praise and worship music and it's talking about me, I don't really feel much. But when, I, when I'm talking about Jesus, for some reason, his presence just comes right on through. And I love just giving him honor and glory for what he's done. What a blessing here. What yeah. Done for you. Hey, let's do a self-deliverance. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Let's do it together. Say, I search okay. myself by the finger of God. I search myself by the finger of God. From the tips of my toes to the top of my head. From the tips of my toes to the top of my head. I command that whatever is not of God. I command that whatever is not of God. Come up and state your name. Come up and speak your name right Holy, now. The Holy Spirit's your guide. No demons in charge here. Share with me, Melissa, if you hear a name, function, or nothing. Self-judgment. Self-judgment. Say, Holy Spirit, does self-judgment have a legal right to be here? No. Tell the enemy. Self-judgment does not have a legal right. Say, go to the Self-judgment. Go to the pit in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's do another one, Melissa. Say, I search myself. Self-condemnation. Go to the pit in Jesus' name. Another one popped up. Ask the Holy Spirit. Does self-condemnation have a legal Self-hatred. Right go to the pit in Jesus' name. Did you hear any more, Melissa? Or is that it? And fear go to the pit in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Anxiety go to the pit in Jesus' name. And confusion go to the pit in Jesus' name. And lies from the enemy go to the pit in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, Melissa. The Lord just wants to get all of these demonic issues off of you to set you free. Yeah. He's a good God. And it's not hard either yeah, for us he's to do been this to do these things all we have to do is just be doers and bring up the issue he's been condemning me all along it's been his voice yeah. that's his purpose I just didn't recognize yeah and a lot of times we don't even pay attention to it we think it's normal we think it's normal for us to feel like we're in trouble we think it's normal for us to have a bit of fear or anxiety it's not we have the spirit of the living God living inside of us. And uh, he's given us the ability to, well, as long as we read his word and pay attention to it, to act on his word and be victorious. Uh, that These are weapons, you know, that we get to use against the enemy. You know, uh, it's just not our dukes, our hands that we're using. It's spiritual warfare with the sword, God's word coming against the enemy. And the enemy knows if we have our uh, helmet of salvation on, our full armor on. He knows if we've been praying. And seeking the Lord as well. And he goes, oh, great. Melissa is uh, searching the Father. Oh, man. Uh, let's try to get her out of this. And, and uh, you'll, you'll catch it as well, Melissa. Oh, uh, something came in here. Temptation to do something I shouldn't do. Or, you know, something to distract your mind. And you go, wait a minute. I have the mind of Christ. And the Lord will help you to do the spiritual warfare. And, of course, it's all done behind the scenes. No one gets to see what's going on just you and jesus and that's the good part is that he is on your side he's not against you yeah i, I never realized that he always like wants he wants me to feel good about myself he doesn't want me to feel bad about myself yeah. it's it's the it, it's just sometimes this i i get this religious spirit and i think it's you know it's not good yeah, because I don't know. I'll listen to somebody and I don't know. 
I'll listen to some program and I'll think, oh gosh, that that's it. And I agree with you on the Sabbath thing. I'm a converted Jew and, and I was reading about the Sabbath really is the seventh day. And I've been trying to find churches that actually do it because that's the last commandment they were talking about that they need to follow. Yeah, the good thing is, is that uh, you know we have I mean? the grace of God. And if you put this in your heart here, Melissa, he will have you find someone on Saturday. Um, uh, it doesn't matter if we go in church on Sunday or Saturday. Good thing that he has, well, uh, yeah. fulfilled the law. But it's still good for us to honor and do all of the things of the law and to set that time aside to worship the Lord on that day, whether it's Saturday or Sunday. Um, it's just my belief, you know, it's Saturday. And yeah. Hey, that's just where, where it is, where it's at. But uh, that's all right. Uh, the, the, yeah. As long as we spend that time with the Lord, that's the most important time. And we rest and get renewed in him during that time. So yeah, I, I was avoiding everybody because when I was going through my hair, going gray and coming out, I, yeah. I didn't go to church. I didn't want to be around people. It's hard, especially during that time, for sure. Especially when you're losing your hair, the embarrassment that's there, sure. But praise now the Lord, I'm not. He's healing you, but I have he, to let it. He got that rid of that cancer. He set you free. He gave you another uh, uh, area of, of life to live longer here, Melissa. And he's doing this again because he wants to use you, big or small. Whether it's you know at you know your local church or little Bible studies in your house, house church. Whatever, going to Starbucks and having a little get together. The Lord loves it all. And he'll start bringing this towards you and your friends as well and bringing the right people around so that you can talk about Jesus and have them around you. It's important who we hang out with and who we focus this time with. Uh, of course, yes. Jesus hung out with, you know, uh, uh, ungodly people and people that were sinners, but he didn't do it all the time. Melissa. So he spent more time in his prayer closet and, uh, and all of his disciples were, where's Jesus? They're always searching for Jesus early in the morning. He knew this was the time that he had with the father away from everyone. And when he needed to get away, he would magically, not magically, mysteriously disappear in the crowds. And all of a sudden they say later on in scripture, yeah, he went to go pray somewhere. <laughs> Why? Because he needed to get away. He needed to get renewed. And so that's what the Lord's going to ask you as well. Just renew, get yourself uh, focused on him, and then he'll help you get through all of these storms. Melissa, again, thank you so much for volunteering. Uh, hey, we may call upon you again. We only got a half hour left. We got a couple more new people that came in. I think I'm going to call on them just next. Melissa, is that okay? Yeah, of course. Hey, thanks again, Melissa, for volunteering. I appreciate it. I look forward to chatting with you soon. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Thank you. How awesome for the Lord to do some more healing and restoration. Um, Parm, uh, hey, I'll walk you through Parm, uh, walk, uh, through inner healing and deliverance as well. Uh, Parm, I'm going to ask you uh, to, looks like you unmuted yourself, and then I'll ask you to start the video. There we go. Um, good to see you again. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Parm, uh, what, what, can we bring one issue up for Jesus to heal and restore a traumatic moment from your past? Would that be okay? There's, I don't know. I just, it's more like, it's just so much spiritual warfare that's, okay. that's really affecting me right now. So what's the spiritual? You know, a uh, lot of soul ties. Okay. I don't know. I feel tired, you know, angry, and it's just a lot of blur. Um, I can't seem to see clearly. Um, and then it disturbs my prayer life. Right. Of course it does. So yeah. um yeah. And I just want to today I fell asleep, you know, there you go. The enemy was trying to like, I want to get deliverance, and I totally forgot. Right, you know that right. you had a webinar to do. Um, I was looking at it today earlier. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna join. I'm gonna, you know, this is the time. And then I totally forgot about it. I just felt a wave of fatigue when I came home, which is not usual. It's not like that. Yeah. Well, the enemy's so, coming against yeah, us with some heavy oppression. 
Yeah, to, to bring torment and pain over our lives. Hey, Parma, yeah. uh, even though we'll, we'll get these areas and bring it before the Lord during yeah. deliverance, could we walk you through inner healing? And the reason why I yeah. share that first is because yeah. this is going to help you to continue to give victory. Um, the same tools that we use for inner healing are the same tools that we use if we feel that weird oppression that the enemy's coming against us with or seeing, hearing, feeling the enemy, a sickness or pain. The same tools work exactly the same way. All we're doing is just trusting in Jesus Christ. Could we bring up uh, within the last mm -hmm. couple of years, have any of your friends or family members betrayed your trust, wounded or hurt you in any way? Yeah. Can you think of one? Yeah, my, one? you know, my fiance, ex fiance, yeah. um, my father. Let's go you for know, the ex fiance if that's okay, since that one brought up first. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you don't want to share here, Parm, uh, what he did to wound or hurt you, that's okay. We can keep it unspoken, but we're just going to pick one event that happened, maybe his betrayal that, that happened as part of that. Can, can you find one of those worst moments with him? Yep. Yeah. Okay, what's the emotion Jesus needs to take away from this? Um, just um, the vulnerability that I have, you know, because it was abuse, like he hit me and stuff. So yeah, of course. it was that fear, the vulnerability, the anger. It's all mixed of emotions. It's not one emotion when it comes yeah, to abuse, right? Quite a few that are going to be there. Yeah. The Lord's brought this to your attention so he can yeah. heal. And restore you and set you free, Parm. Let's yeah. do this together. Say, Jesus, I call upon yeah. your name and authority. Jesus, I call upon your name and authority. I divide soul and spirit. I divide soil and spirit. Please heal this part of me, Jesus. Please heal this part of me, Jesus. Parm, can you forgive him for what he did? Or do you need help from Jesus to forgive him? I need help from Jesus to forgive him. It's on so, and off with him. Yes, I work on my heart, Jesus. You work on my heart, Jesus. It's only you that can do this. Only you that can do this. I'm forgiving him by faith today. And I'm forgiving him by faith today. Jesus, please minister. Please speak to me. Jesus, please ministers, please speak to me. Here he comes right now, Parm. Here comes Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing this brokenhearted one. Thank you, Father, for bringing additional encouragement so that she can move on from this. Father, as well, thank you for uh, giving her just the peace of God that surpasses her understanding. Parm, what's Jesus doing here? Share with me. Uh, nothing. He's, I just feel the warmth. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Go back to the memory. See if he took away that pain. Yeah. That's the whole yeah. purpose of inner healing, Parm, for him to yeah. take away this pain. Isn't that cool that he just yeah. wants to release us from this? Was that hard yeah. to do, Parm? No. 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 Hey, man, it's not supposed to be. Yeah. So we can do this by ourselves. Hey, I, 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 I want to bless you and everyone here with that training. Give me one moment here. I'm going to do a, a copy of everything here. Paste it here. Uh, when you get a chance, Parm, uh, if you could click on either one of those two links, one of them is going to take you to mm -hmm. our online training for free. The second one's going to give you the worksheet that goes with that training so that you can do it mm -hmm. immediately if something pops up right out on the spot. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Well, and then we're going to bring up before the courts of heaven during deliverance. Mm -hmm. Can you share with me, Parm, one or two of those areas that we can bring before Jesus? The biggest ones that you think are most important. Anger towards my dad. Anger. Okay, we're gonna deal with this anger. I mean, just the look eyes. I just want to get rid of. I, I they're just <laughs> they keep me in bondage. I don't know what to do. Okay, we got so. the anger. I, I missed the other part. What was the other one? Soul ties. A soul tie. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much. We're gonna do mm -hmm. the soul tie, and we're gonna bring up this mm -hmm. anger that is here. Any anything else weird going on supernaturally, mm -hmm. Parm? That you you said that you got spiritual warfare going on besides this anger with your father. Is there anything yeah, extra? Yeah, spiritual. It's just, you know, making me very, like, not motivated. Okay. You know, um, it's just making me really fatigued. And, you know, I'm just, I just feel like I'm, I'm being knocked down from my, my destiny. You know, like, yeah. I, I just enrolled in real estate. I know they're God's hand in real estate. So I'm trying to study for it. But somehow I'm, I'm, I'm repelled to study for it. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. 
Thank you yeah. so much for sharing with me, Parm. Awesome. We're going to bring this directly before the Lord. You weren't here when we had the courts of heaven convened. I'll go ahead and uh, convene over your life as well here, Parm, since you weren't here. Mm -hmm. And uh, then after that, I'm going to walk you through this process. It's going to be just a little quick prayer um, that I'm going to do here. If you could, don't think or pray during this time. Just be in agreement with me, okay? Perfect. Father, we come before you now in the name of Jesus. We ask that the courts of heaven be convened over Parm's life. And Lord, as well, we ask that the two demons are sent to the courts of heaven. They're going to stay there and give their testimony before you, Heavenly Father, and Jesus Christ, your son. The Holy Spirit will lead and guide Parm in the truth. Jesus, we ask you prepare uh, judgments for these demons, consumption by fire, with the blaze coming forth from your presence to burn these demons up if they don't comply in any other directives. Lord, as well, all spoils and healings that have been stolen or withheld will be released sevenfold. The answer of I don't know is not an acceptable answer. And Lord, we thank you that today is their day of departure in Jesus' name. Are you okay with all that, Parm? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring yeah. up this issue in regards to anger. Holy Spirit, the enemy has tormented Parm with an open doorway of anger. She's been upset with her father. How many wounded parts or legal rights are here? Many, a couple of few, an exact number. What'd you hear, Parm? Four. When was it created, Holy Spirit? The first time Parm felt anger towards her father? You might get an exact age or maybe when I was younger or teen. Yeah, when I was about, you know, in my in my childhood. Childhood. Because he was abusive as well. Yeah. Holy Spirit, what is like Jesus around seven? About seven. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing the age to her. Holy Spirit, what does Jesus need to heal to set Parm free from this anger? Is it just anger alone or is there more? Um, just her spirit and her heart. Give her a new heart and spirit, I guess. New That's what spirit. I need. Holy Spirit, when Jesus is done healing this brokenhearted one, will this anger towards her father end? Yes or no? Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing revelation knowledge to your servant, Parm. In the name of Jesus Christ, who came in the flesh, we command every demon to depart and go to the pit without ripping and tearing in Jesus' name. Parm, the only reason why we ever do deliverance is so that Jesus can heal brokenhearted issues. He's going to heal this brokenheartedness mm -hmm. now of this anger. He's taking you back when it was created. If you could, close your eyes, and here comes the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for healing mm -hmm. this brokenhearted one. I divide soul and spirit. Jesus, please heal all of these brokenhearted ones. Minister, speak to Parm now. Parm, what's Jesus doing here? Share with me. There's a warmth coming through and also, you know, the pull of tugging, the pulling and tugging. That's about it. Thank you, Taking Holy Spirit. Away. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for taking the pain away. Jesus, will you give her an encouraging word as well to move forward? Thank you, Lord, as well. We take the sword of the spirit. We pierce and cut off that stronghold over her spiritual ears. Demons, detach, leave Parm alone now. The Lord's right here, Parm, bringing victory. He'll give you some encouragement here. Share with me what he's doing. Sorry, what was that? That's okay. The Lord's just bringing some additional encouragement here. You might get an encouraging word from the Lord, or he's already just already taken the pain away from you, Parm. I just like to see if there's anything extra he wants to bring. No, nothing. I don't. Know. That's okay, Parm. You did perfect here. Awesome. It looks like yeah. you already took away the pain. Let's tell the enemy where to go. Say, I command you demonic spirits. I command you demonic spirits. Go to the pit in Jesus' name. Go to the pit in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's do uh, one where we're searching by the finger of God. Let's do it together here, Parm. This is in mm -hmm. our training for self-deliverance. Say, I search myself by the finger of God. I search myself by the finger of God. From the tips of my toes to the top of my head. From the tips of my toes to the top of my head. I command that whatever is not of God. I'll repeat it again, Parma. I, I command that whatever is not of God. Come up and state your name. No, I don't know what name. Do you hear a name function or anything pop up at all, Parm? The Holy Spirit's your guide. No demons are in charge here. Did you hear anything no. pop up? That's okay. Let's do one more. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a little mm -hmm. internet connection here problem. Let's do one more. See, I search myself by the finger of God. 
I stretch myself by the finger of God. From the tips of my toes to the top of my head. From the tips of my toes to the top of my head. I command that whatever is not of God. I command that whatever is not of God. Come up and state your name. Come up and state your name. You hear anything pop up, Punk? No. Perfect. That's okay. There's nothing wrong if you don't hear anything. That's a good thing, Parm. Amen. That's yeah. awesome. That's good. By chance, if you do, uh, you'll just ask some questions to the Holy Spirit. This is all in the training. Does this have a legal right? Yes or no? No. If you hear no, go to the pit. If you hear mm -hmm. yes, then you'll ask a couple quick questions. When was it created? When I was tiny, when I was four. What's the emotion Jesus needs to heal? Terror, fear, whatever it is. You'll stop. You'll bring it right over to inner healing. You'll have mm -hmm. Jesus heal that brokenhearted one and set you free. It's super easy. It's not hard mm -hmm. to do, Parm. It's just a matter of doing it. That's the big thing. Thank you so much, Parm, mm -hmm. for volunteering here. What a blessing of the Lord to heal and restore that yes. brokenhearted issue. Uh, hey, you can always reach out to us as well, Parm, and set up an appointment to speak with me if you haven't already, okay? Okay, thanks. You're so welcome. And then as well, don't forget about Pastor Sarah. She's a wonderful here as well for any additional help um, that she works with women exclusively. We had someone else that came in here, a phone number. It's only a phone number only, but no video. If you'd like to, you I can walk you through the process of inner healing and deliverance. You'd be our last one. I don't know who you are. It doesn't share a name. It just has a phone number here of uh, 1267. If you'd like to, we can walk you through this. And if not, I can share with you just a bit more about deliverance and inner healing. That's, that's me. Can you hear me? I sure can. Hi, I'm My Pastor name is Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Thank you so much for joining. Lynn, share with me, uh, what would you like Jesus to heal and restore? A traumatic moment uh -huh. in your past or maybe some demonic oppression happening over your life? <laughs> maybe both. <laughs> um, I I think I'm good now, but there have been things surfacing sometimes where I feel some anger. And you know, when I was younger, I would never feel anger, but you know, I've been hurt, you know, yeah. um, by people. And uh, probably the big thing was my ex-husband. But I mean, I know Jesus healed me a lot. Like sometimes I'd even be home alone praying, and I could feel the Holy Spirit come, and um, and like at one point, I think I even maybe had a little bit of post-traumatic stress syndrome from because my ex, I mean, it was mostly abu um, emotionally abusive, but he did grab me by the neck a couple times and um, it just shocked me. Just bring I mean, up I always one of those tried times to come from love. Grabbed your, when he you grabbed your neck, is that okay with you? No, no, no. I mean, that wasn't good. I mean, yeah, I was yeah. trying to send love to him at the time that he was. Would you like oh, Jesus to heal that time where he grabbed you on the neck? That's what I meant here. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, but you know what? At that point when he grabbed my neck, I really was praying and trying to send him love, thinking love could, and God could fix everything. Right. But um, I think what fear? hurt even worse after that was that, um, I think what hurt worse was that his, like, family sometimes didn't understand it and they probably thought it was me I mean he was definitely abusive and years later here his brother um went in the barn and his father he rented the land from his father I think um, or, or maybe it was his own land I guess it was his own barn and went in and shot a hundred head of cow and set the barn on fire like there was definitely the way they were raised was you know to show force and brute and and, and stuff like that right. but yeah it was more hurtful maybe that people didn't understand it like my own family so, like my brother and my sister-in-law so, so so there was that and um and then more recently some things with my parents I just felt like they were favoring my brother but they were like the two big things probably yeah um, let's go to the one with your family favoring um, your brother here is that okay can we have jesus take away the pain from this and that hurt and 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 pain associated with that is that all right with you yeah i mean maybe we could throw in the whole family like it's all you know that it's, it's hard to get a group uh, healing on many different things and the reason why i share this with you is because each event that happens in our life are individual they're not grouped together here 
Uh, the Lord can bring mercy and do a group healing, but if he if there's something else that's here, he'll bring it up to your attention. And I'll always, uh, 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 hey, pay attention to it. It's kind of like when someone says, hey, I want my entire marriage healed or divorced. And I'll say, how long were you married? Five, 10, 15, 20 years. And I go, and you're looking for healing and restoration now and you don't want no more bad feelings? Yeah. And I go, what a, that's not going to happen, man. Uh, uh, you're going to have to bring these issues up independently by the Lord and, uh, and, and he'll bring mercy and help you through some of them, but they were in, independent, independent uh, uh, as it was. And so the Lord will help you as well. Let's go ahead and bring this issue before Christ. And he's going to take away this pain. Just repeat uh, after. Oh, me. But, sure. wait, can we just change the one thing? Sure. I, Cause I, I, I do believe I've forgiven my brother and things seem to be fine with him now, but and, and my father passed away. Unfortunately, there was misunderstanding with, we got along great all my life, but at the end, you know, he, he probably had a little bit of dementia and all. And, um, and, and then with my mom, there were some problems, but I mean, things are better, but and, uh, I mean, I don't know. Can I do it with my mom and dad? Sure. Or my mom's the only one that's still alive. Well, yeah, you you can do it to, to help get healing restoration with your father or your mom, or if they both did it at the same time, both at the same time, sure. Let's bring yeah, that. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they let's both take away that pain. Okay. All right, perfect. Though so I'm glad the Holy Spirit okay. brought it to your attention so he can release you from this demonic bondage. Let's do it together. He brought the memory up. Say, Jesus, I call upon your name and authority. Jesus, I call upon your name and authority. I divide soul and spirit. I divide soul and spirit. Please heal this part of me, Jesus. Please heal this part of me, Jesus. Can you forgive mom and dad for what they did here? Or do you need help from the Lord? I believe I forgive them. I mean, I, I don't feel any anger or anything now. Um, nice. But I, it doesn't hurt to have that. You know how sometimes there can be a trigger? Yeah. <laughs> You bet. Say, say I, Jesus, I, I just I need your help with this. If there's anything extra, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, I need your help with this. If there's anything extra, Let's thank you in. for restoring this. Thank you for restoring this. Speak to me, Jesus. Minister to me, please. Speak to me, Jesus. Minister to me. Here he comes right now. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing victory to this brokenhearted one and setting her free. Father, we know that you love her. Thank you for giving her encouragement to move forward in Jesus' name. What's Jesus doing here? Share with me. Did he take that pain away from you? Did Jesus take that pain away? Did I lose you? Oh, there you are. You just got lost for a second there. Oh, no, I didn't know I was supposed to talk to Jesus. Please take this pain completely away from me. He's right here healing this brokenhearted Jesus. issue. Did he set you free from this? Did he minister to you? If you didn't hear Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um... He'll go, go back to the memories. If I actually, like, I don't often hear from the Lord. I mean, occasionally I do. I'm more see, I'm, I'm more see things. But I was seeing a diamond of spades. So, um, because we, they weren't understanding some money things. <laughs> um, so, um. Go back like, to the memories. See if you took they, that uh, away. Yeah, I, I I feel I feel good. 
praise God. Yeah. That's the whole purpose of inner healing That's is for him God. to make, make us feel better about these issues and set us free. We can't heal these things by yourself. So there's a lifetime here that he wants to take care of. So, uh, hey, by the way, we, we bless everyone with this training so that you can get your own victory. Um, and as well, it's right on our website. Please uh, start doing it. Watch the Lord heal more issues over your life when you just trust in him alone. And is it okay if we bring some of these issues before the Lord in regards to doing some self doing some deliverance? Is that okay? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Oh, what did you say? Is it okay if we bring issues? So um, one of, one what, of these issues what we before, just talked about? before deliverance, doing deliverance before Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, you mean to remove any, to ask for any, to command any spirits to leave? Yeah. Yeah. The whole purpose yeah. of doing inner healing is so well, we have Jesus heal these brokenhearted issues. Same thing with deliverance. We'll ask questions of the Holy Spirit so that these issues can get healed and restored. It's just an extra piece that we get to use uh, for our freedom uh, in Jesus' name. Repeat after me. We'll do it together. Say, I search myself by the finger of God. Mm -hmm. I search myself by the finger of God. From the tips of my toes to the top of my head. From the tips of the, my toes to the top of my head. I command that. I command that whatever is not of God, come up and state your name. I command that whatever is not of God to come up and state your name. The Holy Spirit's your guide, no demons in charge. Did you hear a name, function, or anything? Did you hear anything pop up? No. That's okay. There's um, nothing wrong if we don't hear anything pop up. It, 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 we're only going to worry. And uh, if anything does pop up, not so much worry. We're all going to work with it if something pops up. So you didn't hear anything. That's perfect. That's all right. If by chance, if you do, uh, you'll just do some simple steps. Uh, you'll ask the Holy Spirit some questions. Does it have a legal right to be here? You'll but, hear. I mean, I, I know what my, yeah, I mean, I know what my, like fear is a big one of mine. So oh, of course, I know yeah. that's. Are we still going to do deliverance? Or are uh, well, we actually, we were just walking you through self-deliverance here, and you didn't hear have anything pop up. I didn't do the full deliverance with you simply because we only have five minutes left here. I'm so sorry. We just ran out of time here to do a full deliverance and walk you okay. through this. So we are going to do another one next month, and we're going to okay. be walking people through the same process about the same time. You'll get an email blast about that, as well as we're going to be talking about self-deliverance in the very beginning of a month and doing another webinar. So there's two that we do, one at the beginning, one at the end. Um, and so, so you just got a little gargled for me. Um, so when is the, did you say in a month? It's going to be in a month for the next Did one. Did you say like in a month? One. Yes, it's going to be about closer okay. to the end of this month. Yeah, it's going to be a close to the end of the month. And then as well, we have one coming up on March 3rd. Um, it's just going to be Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. We do that for uh, the, uh, other countries uh, such as the UK so that they can join aboard as well. Okay. Um, 9 a.m. Um, Western Time. Yeah, that's going to be Pacific Daylight mm -hmm. Time. You'll get an email blast about all of them. All of the events are on our website as well. We okay. keep everything very clear there, including any of our pricing for pastoral counseling, inner healing, or deliverance. Okay. That sounds yeah. good. Thank you so much. You God are bless so you. welcome. I bless you as well. Hey, we also do have additional training on our website. If you're looking to do the more of the self-deliverance, we do charge for that training there. It's only $35, but our other training is available for free, and this will help you to get some victory. Um, I sent that out to everyone there. Please check it out on the website. Again, thank you so much for volunteering and having me walk you through this process. Thank you. Thank you.
But what a blessing the Lord has done. He's uh, opened up some doorways. Some people got some freedom. And uh, Jesus came through, healed brokenhearted ones, set them free. Father, we just thank you for a, a wonderful day, Lord. A, a happy Friday where we know that uh, we're going to be focusing our attention on you on the Sabbath tomorrow or Sunday, whatever days we celebrate. And Father, we thank you as well that uh, this week is going to be a great week for them. This new year, Lord, you're bringing restoration to the brokenhearted. You're setting them free. And Father, now you are tugging on their hearts to say, be doers. Bring these issues before him and watch the Lord just do some miraculous things. Father, we thank you for all that you've done through the Son for healing these brokenhearted ones. And Father, as well, we close out the courts of heaven and we declare freedom for your servants. And we thank you, Father, that now the kingdom of God has come upon them all. Father, thank you for filling them with your Holy Spirit, where all those dark areas were, bringing healing and truth to all of those lies. Father, as well, we thank you uh, for all that you've done. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, join us again uh, next month to do this. Again, I'm going to tell you a couple of dates that are going on here. I'm opening up the website. I don't remember them all. Tomorrow, we do have our live webinar on going before the courts of heaven. This is going to be part two in this series. Um, if you missed last month, uh, please join a board. Go to our shop page and our first uh, webinar on the courts of heaven are there. It's important that you get them all because it's the whole year being taught on how to present your case before the just judge of the universe, Jesus Christ, and get repaid for the enemies and justice, just like the little woman who came before the uh, that judge that didn't fear God or man, but she was so persistent that he said, ah, I will surely give her what she wants, so she'll leave me alone. And this is where Jesus gives us a template to come before our Heavenly Father, and will come before Jesus as judge. And he is the, well, the just judge of the universe. He is also the high priest and the executioner. Uh, and he's our mediator between us and God. And so uh, check that out. That's going to be tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. And then as well, March 3rd, we're going to be doing our spiritual warfare training through self-deliverance and inner healing. It's more of a teaching webinar, an ongoing training for all of the training that we do for self-inner healing and deliverance. Um, and then as well, uh, at the very end of the month, we're going to be doing another uh, uh, self, uh, well, uh, casting out of demons, uh, doing a live deliverance like we did here. I'll ask you to join a board and volunteer as well. Watch the Lord uh, show up, heal and restore you and set you free and come expecting to receive as well. Thank you again, Melissa and everyone else who came today and volunteered. We appreciate the, the, you volunteering and we thank the Lord for all that he's done. Hope you guys have a blessed day. I'm going to rest and relax and finally eat after fasting all day. So I'm looking forward to it. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.